So um, on the subject of money, we have, uh, on one side, we have this idea of credit and people lending me money, a credit card or whatever, and then saying, oh, you'll pay it back. And me being very optimistic and saying, oh, I'm, my vibrational escrow is all just waiting. And when it, those doors open, I'll be happy to pay you back. And then <laughs> comes along and... Um, and the cards are due. Well, with sort, sort of like the conversation that we just had. Words, 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 words. Yeah. Words, 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 words. Like, the, like if I say the words long enough and loud enough, it will shift the vibration. And we don't see the words shifting your vibration that much, do you? In well, other words, if you, if you have a... What do you think is the underlying feeling? In other words, what, what, do you, what vibration do you think... Knowing what you know about law of attraction, if, if you want money and, and it's not flowing as fast as you want it, and you really don't want a lot of debt, but the debt is building. What does that tell you about what your dominant vibration is relative to the subject of money? The vibration, not the words. What, what is your point of attraction about? Don't have enough money. So that's more dominant within you. So what can you do? What kind of conversation can you have with yourself that will soothe that? And, the, and here's the thing that we want you to really hear from us. We want to have this conversation with you, not to get you out of debt and not to get your money flowing. We want to have this conversation with you because we think you ought to be in the vortex. We want to have this conversation with you because we want, we don't think you should feel this stress of this financial conundrum. We think that you should feel ease. We think you should, we don't think you should feel unworthy. We think you should feel worthy. We don't think you should feel unprosperous. We think you should feel and know your prosperity. So the conversation that we're having isn't about affecting your financial condition. A lot of people think, well, if I can just say enough affirmations and do enough processes, then I can get more money. And when I have more money, then I'll feel relief. And it's backwards. You've got to find a way. You have to be looking for the relief. So when we say look for relief, that's the exact same words as saying go to the vortex. Get in the vortex is the same thing as saying look for relief. So, so when you sit down here, your new words would be, I want to go into the vortex. And it doesn't matter what the subject is. I want to go into the vortex. However, it does matter what the subject is because once you're in the vortex, different subjects will spit you out. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so you can get in the vortex. You can think about sex and get in the vortex. We hear your beeper. <laughs> But when you get in there and then you worry about money, it will spit you out. And so, so what you're wanting to do is find any way in the world that you can to get into the vortex and then tiptoe around the subjects that usually spit you out until they no longer spit you out. How does that sound? So that the, great, yeah. the, the objective is to get in there and then contemplate things that usually spit you out in a way that you don't get spit out. And how do you know when you ride a bicycle, how does it go? Do you, did you just get right on the bicycle and start riding it? Or did you tip over and tip over and tip over and tip over? Did you find your balance? The other day, in fact, yesterday, Jerry and Esther drove the monster bus from Phoenix. And they parked it in a park that has a, a beautiful new section with nice big places. And they're big, and so that appealed to them. And Esther drives, and Jerry usually is in the other car once they're inside the park and they have walkie talkies. So Jerry can guide Esther and look out for tall trees or curbs that she might not be aware of. And so they really manage this big bus nicely. And so as they are moving in to the park, this, a man who is new there is assigned to take Esther to her space. So he gets onto his golf cart and he's leading her to his, to the space and he makes a wrong turn and turns her in too soon. And now she's not where she needs to be. And he was so mad at himself. Ah, she can see him going ah, as he's walking. Ah. And Esther is thinking, oh, this big bus has wheels. We can just drive it wherever we're, we're wanting to. In other words, his, it, it was so interesting to watch. His, what had happened to him made him so angry that vortex speaking, it spit him right out of the vortex. 
And all Esther wanted to do was soothe him back in. She just wanted him to understand that it just didn't matter at all. That, that nothing in the world is worth, <clears throat> nothing in the world, world is worth being mad at yourself about it. All right. I feel like I'm, um, that cell phone exp uh, explanation was very close. I feel like I'm very, I'm near to cracking this and then I drop, I drop out of the vortex very easily on the subject of money. So, so let us just remind you that it's all right for you to drop off every now and again, as long as you know how to get back in. And so you know that you're consistently out more than you're in if things are really not going along well. Now we, we, we want to offer those words delicately because your vortex does keep moving. In other words, it's possible for contrast to cause you to create an escrow that once you're within it, then more contrast causes you to create another. And so we just want you to realize that your vibrational escrow is going to keep moving because you're going to keep expanding. So don't take it in any way that makes you feel uncomfortable when we say you must be out more than you're in because that's always common, especially when new desires are born. It's when, it, when at first, when a new desire is born, you're, you're, you're way out and you launch a rocket, but the, the rocket of desire is really a far cry from where your stable vibration is. And so this game that we're playing with these focus wheels and this getting in the vortex, it's all about getting control of your vibration and deliberately moving in the direction of where the larger part of you is. So give us an example of something that comes up often enough or when it does, you feel it strongly enough that is an out of the vortex jolting experience. In other words, what happens aside from just the general sense that you don't have enough money or the general sense of debt, what is it that happens that activates that acute feeling? Because you see, this is a really good thing to acknowledge. There are people in deep, deep debt in the vortex on their way to incredible abundance. There are people in deep, deep debt outside of the vortex who are not on their way to improvement. So the debt in and of itself is not an out of the vortex uh, experience. It's how you feel about it for another. Let's make another strong statement. There are people right now who, if they went to the doctor have been already, but if they went again, would be given still the diagnosis of no improvement, illness still rampant in their body, who are in the vortex. You hear it? In other words, they're in the vortex and the manifestation will catch up with it after they hang around there for a while. So what, what we're wanting to get across to you is you have to let the current condition be irrelevant to your attitude. That's what we're saying. And when you let the current condition be irrelevant to your attitude and you control your attitude apart from it, you have an emotional journey, emotional journey apart from the reality. Now you're in control of your vibration, which means you must be in control of your vibrational indicators. And isn't all reality, isn't your condition, your financial condition, just a vibrational indicator? Isn't your physical condition just a vibrational indicator? So if you've got a handle on your vibration, you very soon will have a handle on the physical manifestation.